Hello YouTube and welcome to Sir Diesel Powers channel. Um, today we're going to discuss triple monitors. Um, so what we are going to discuss about triple monitor is the following. We're going to talk about what size should you get. Um, um, should you get a TV, monitors, um, what video card. Um, what are you going to do with your triple monitor and why do you want to have a triple monitor set up? Um, is it to look cool? Is it to game? Is it to multitask? Are you into stock market? Um, that sort of things. Um, the software that's behind most of the video cards also and um, wiring. Maybe a little bit of wiring and how to, you know, maybe future setups and stuff like that. So to start off, um, I started the project in 2011 and we're in 2014 now and I've been with triple monitor this whole time and cannot go back to one at all um, the reason I use it is to multitask so it's uniquely to multitask I don't game on all three monitors I'll do it I do game as you saw in um, my my videos if you looked at my channel before um, so first thing I wanna talk about is um, like what are, what are you gonna do with it so the reason I'm asking you this is very important because I thought you know triple monitor I'm gonna game with the three monitors you know war games all games every game um, I don't game with the three monitors the reason very hard to game first of all second of all not all games are made for triple monitor I'll give you an example Diablo 3 see a little bit of in depth on the right and the left it's decent uh, battlefield call of duty stuff like that you get the full experience awesome for now um, League of Legends most played game in the world um, doesn't work really because it's a single path um, I mean you do have some 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 sides but they're shaded in you don't really see them until you get to them so uh, you'll have like a clear vision in the middle and then blurry you know textured forest or um, side of cliffs depending on the map you're playing so not worth it so um, that said um, if you are going to game on all three monitors you want to have a respectable size and what I mean by that right now I'm using three times 27 inches um, it's big it's actually huge um, the reason why I can go for 27 inches is because I don't game I multitask therefore I don't mind turning my head to this one or turning my head to this one doing my stuff uh, you know um, going to YouTube uh, then you know, go browse Google on this one bring it over here oops there it goes uh, then what do I have Oh, feel like watching a movie. What movie can we watch? English. Come on, load a little thing. I can get a little bit of lag because I'm recording because I don't usually. Oh no, that's my slow hard drive. Part of me. Um, it's not a full speed hard drive. Uh, therefore, they're loading times. And if it's not that, and you know better, because you know I am very techy, but you know sometimes you miss something. Um, please tell me. So, I don't know, want to watch a movie? You start it up, put it on this screen or that screen or whatever screen, and boom. Alright, uh, copyrights can't show you this, so just an example. So that's the kind of thing you can do. Um, so I enjoy having three monitors for that. Um, now gaming the retarded and no point in having three 27 inches I mean I can see the f first monitor I can barely see the others I can see maybe one third of the others and that's just peripheral view so I can't really s I can distinguish that there's something going on but I can't really see it I'll really have to turn my head so if you're gonna game 19 inch probably the best 21 inch still okay 24 starting to be big, 27 and up, just forget it. Um, the other thing you want to be asking yourself, monitor or TV? Uh, 
monitor faster, faster refresh rate, better pixels, um, better image quality, um, overall better for sure. Like, then you're gonna ask me, yeah, is it that better? Depends. If you're playing, I don't know, uh, army games, uh, Call of Duty, um, you know, st stuff like that, you will want to have a monitor for sure. It'll give you that little fraction of a second you need to dominate the enemy. Um, if you're just, I don't know, watching movies, playing Minecraft or Terraria, then no, you don't really need them. Go for a TV if you want. Go for three 42 inches sideways. You know, 42, 42, 42 that way. Um, do whatever you want. Um, but size, you know, you don't want to go too big. Trust me on this one. And um, uh, especially if you want a game. That being said, other things. Video card. Pretty much all the video cards, $150 and up, will have multi-display. Um, they'll have three, four, five ports on the back of the card. Mine has DVI, um, HDMI, and DisplayPort times two. Um, what I use is, I believe I have like HDMI here, uh, DisplayPort over here, and then like DVI here. Um, it took me a hell of a lot of time to understand why I couldn't hook up my three monitors. One would always not work. It was a big hassle. Um, if you're using a DisplayPort adapter that'll convert to VGA, not to DVI, VGA, DVI will not work, it'll screw it up, and by the way, VGA is as equal or better than a DVI cable, and for those who say, oh, you can't even do, uh, create resolution 1080p, uh, yes you can, you can even go up to 4K resolution, okay, VGA is the way to go, well, not necessarily the way to go, but it's fine. Like if you go see a computer store, they'll tell you, "Oh no, you need a HDMI uh, 3.0 version or whatever they say." It's all bullshit. Okay, so HDMI, DVI, VGA, it's all fine. So for the DisplayPort, the problem is, if you buy a DisplayPort, what that looks like, it's a little box. Actually, you know what? Let's use uh, the internet. DisplayPort adapter all right so this well this is a display port this is not the one I wanted to show you though this is DVI and I want to show you a VGA this is what you need okay the blue one okay the VGA is what you need uh, this is the display port this goes into your video card and then this one goes to your uh, monitor so when you're gonna purchase your three monitors you want to have at least one that has HDMI, you know, depending on the configuration of your video card, of course, you know, if you have three slots for, um, for, um, uh, for HDMI, go HDMI. If you have, uh, three slots for, uh, VGA, go VGA. If you got three DVI or DVI, whatever you have, just try and make it fit. But don't forget that if you have, let's say like me, two display ports, um, one HDMI and one, um, DVI, you have to figure out a way to plug one of all three, right? You'll have HDMI, um, DVI, and then either VGA or another DVI with the um, display port. So your monitors, they have to have that, at least combination. You know, you can't have three monitors with only HDMI. It won't work because you're going to, you know, run out of cable plugage. Um, so the important part that I was coming to, this is really important, you have to remember this if you're doing a triple monitor setup. If your display uh, adapter like this one is not an active display, it's a passive, it will not work. It will work and then shut off. Work and shut off. Work, shut off. Work, shut off. And even cause blue screens. Um, it has to be a active display um, adapter. Okay. Um, so that'll be uh, very important. Um, second part, monitors. Try and get three that are the same, okay? What I mean by that is, um, I, back when I made my setup, 2011, uh, three, tri like, three 27 inch monitors 
um, 60 frames per second, not 3D, just regular, were about $500 each. Okay, so I got 1500 worth of monitors uh, that are now maybe, what, 200 each? So you got $600 worth of. Um, if you don't have the total sum of money to purchase all three, don't buy them independently. Don't buy one a month because you'll never have, well, maybe not never, but the slight possibilities of you having three identical monitors throughout three months, let's say, is really, really slim, okay? Pardon me. So um, try and get them all at the same time. Because um, like I said, mine are not the same. Uh, under the first one, I have two um, game boxes, you know, like CD cases, uh, well, DVD cases, um, to hold this one higher because they don't, they, the, the bezels don't line up perfectly um, because I don't have height on my monitors. Uh, so that's one thing to look out for. Second thing, um, my monitors at the back don't have holes. I would love them to have holes so I could fix them up on the wall. It's something I wasn't thinking of back in the day and that now I would want to have. So um, that's another issue that I'm, I've come across now. So if you do want to mount it to the wall, mounting brackets, uh, you know, swivel brackets are really great. You can get them for like 30 bucks on uh, eBay or Amazon or whatever place you, you love to shop. Um, and um, so, uh, yeah, if you don't have the holes on the back of your monitors, then you're screwed again. Okay, and monitors usually don't have those hole hookups. Uh, they're not TVs. TVs all have them or almost. Uh, monitors don't, so another thing to keep an eye out. Um, what else we wanted to talk about? Um, yeah, triple monitors. Uh, like I said, I do only individual um, monitors for multitasking. There's two ways of setting up your triple monitors. There's way number one. Let's just close this actually. Uh, right here. Way number one, I want to show you this. Screen resolution. All right. This here. See, I have, well, it shows I have four monitors. I actually do have four monitors. I'll explain briefly. This is monitor one, this is two, and this is three. Uh, and this order would be one, two, and four. And on my wall over there, I have a projector across the room that projects um, a duplicate of this screen right here. So whatever I put over here with this YouTube um, duplicates on the wall. So I could watch a movie here, actually duplicate it on the wall and watch it from my, 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 my couch and my surround system. So that's why I have actually four. Um, therefore, I also have another display port adapter. Um, so I have two, what a hassle. Um, so um, the reason why um, I'm telling you this is there's two ways of doing it. There's video um, setup enhancement from stuff like Ifinity, which is from AMD. Um, precisely, I mean Radeon. Let me open that up. So this is the AMD. Well, you can see it from here, can't you? Well, you can't see me though. Um, this is the AMD control. You have the Ifinity setup. What the Ifinity setup does is it takes your three monitors, or four, or six, or how many ever you have, and it'll convert it into one monitor. So your computer will think it's one fused together monitor instead of being three individual monitors. Um, whether my setup is actually, and let's exclude the projector for a second, it's actually three independent uh, monitors, all right? So the reason why I set mine this way and not as a whole monitor is whenever you'll want to watch something full screen, it'll go on all three. If you want to watch a movie, a movie doesn't split um, 5760 by 1080 because it's 1920 times three times 180 height. That's what 5760 is. Um, you'll want to have individual monitors if you want to have individual things going on. If you want to play a game, you want to put it on one monitor, it'll be easier to achieve this way, my way, with three monitors, than having one full screen, which will always extend. Although the opposite is true also. If you want to play a game with a triple monitor, 
can't do it my way, won't work. You're going to have to do an Ifinity or uh, I can't remember what the, you know, the other um, graphic card company uses. Uh, the NVIDIA, I don't know what, what it is uh, they use. Um, but they do have a similar app. Therefore, uh, if you want to play a game, if you want to do triple monitor stuff, um, you're going to have to have an Ifinity setup. Um, so that's the reason I don't use it, just because it's just more of a hassle for certain things. Second thing also, if you do use a triple monitor, um, it, it becomes like one gigantic monitor, which means your taskbar is on the left, and you cannot drag it to, let's say, here, or to the side here, or to this one. You can't do that, because it's not three monitors, it's one monitor. So there's no bezel here, you know? There's, no be there's not another monitor. So that's another thing I didn't like. And I like having my taskbar here right now, but I did have it in the middle at one point because my main monitor is in the middle, right here. So, you know, easier. Um, I did resolve that with my rocket dock here at the top, which is fantastic. If you can get this rocket dock, it, it is really, really awesome. Um, you can do so much stuff. You can create your own icons create your YouTube icon, uh, create your bin, your game folders, uh, game launching icons, so you can do pretty much anything with it. It's really cool. And I like the fact that I can make it hide and you know grow out and wave when you go over the cusp the the, 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 the icons, uh, kind of like a Mac. You know, there's some good stuff about Mac. I don't like Mac, I'm a PC guy, I'm not a Mac. Uh, but I do think they have very, very they're very structure. Uh, I like structure things. So that's pretty much it for triple monitor setting up. Um, the monitor sizes, um, you know, the quality, um, faster frame rate on a monitor than a TV. If you do want to use a TV, go ahead. But you know, it depends what you want to do. And uh, that's pretty much it. Cable management for the Display Port, and you know, putting up on the wall, like I said. Uh, that covers it and hopefully if you're watching this video is because either you already have interest or you're just browsing through my my videos on my channel so um, that's pretty much it thank you and talk to you soon